Okay, good evening everyone. Pastor Brett here. Um, Alright, so I got this uh, in the uh, mail today. Um, so this will um, make Steve happy. Yep, I got this again. I had this, you know I had this. This is the um, 1769. Blaney revision of the King James Version, and um, it is a marvelous revision of a Bible that only needed such in cases where mistakes were made or even the spelling of words like book b-o-o-k-e in that 1611 right over there um, or um, b-o-o-k as it is today or as it was in 1769 um, now uh, having said that um, <coughs> there were uh, these were the spelling changes that were made in the 1769 Blaney revision. Benjamin, Dr. Benjamin Blaney did this work. I, I think a couple of ribbons might be um, appropriate here, but this is the 500th anniversary of the Reformation um, in 2017, actually, but uh, this was done in 2017. From 1517 to 2017, it's a family Bible, and um, they quote Martin Luther on the cover, My Conscience is my guide. Scripture is my only authority. Here I stand, and God help me. I mean, sound like, you know, good words, great words to remember. Um, yeah. Um, but, and then they have this little, um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get the camera right now. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to show this Bible to you. Uh, okay. Here we go. I'm going to do what Steve always uh, tells Steve to do. And we'll get this camera out of the stand. And take the Bible right over here next to its big brother. Hallelujah. You see my KJV 1611. KJV. Um, and this is my 1769 Blaney revision. Oh, there you see, uh, let's see the footprint here. These Bibles are almost as tall as each other. Clearly not as tall, but, and not as wide. Definitely not as thick. Hallelujah. So, that's my seven. That's my sixteen eleven. This, of course, you know, is a, a replica of the original sixteen eleven. And it's not. Look what a Pastor Brett. What are you doing, coloring? Yep, the drop caps. I'm going through um, the Old Testament first, of course. I'm just going to go through chapter by chapter, book by book, and uh, I'm uh, almost through Genesis. Um, once they get through Genesis, this is what they look like before they're colored, all right? Because this was a scan, it's just black and white, no color. This is what they look like colored. So, lots of A's. I noticed that every chapter, almost every chapter, seems to begin with an A. And the first one, in the beginning. Now you see Benjamin Blaney, all right? The first book of Moses, so, you notice the typeface as well, all right? And then, of course, then you see they use the same paper, same cover. This is cowhide leather overboard, by the way. Uh, it's a thick board. This is how they made the Bibles back then, too, by the way. They made them this big. This was the size of the actual Bible. The translators to the reader is in Blaney has this. He has a lot of the same things in the beginning of his Bible that are in the King James Version. Um, 
You'll see a lot of this in the 1611. They're all helps. Just trees and things you can follow. But uh, I want to take you to uh, Genesis chapter 1. And you see the difference. The book, B-O-O-K, of Moses called Genesis. Look at the print. The print is a more readable. This is, a, it's a 9.5, I think it's a 10. It is a 10 point font, but it's serif, so it's not as bold as, um, of course, the, this is an Oxford printing as well. Um, so, uh, for all you KJVO people that uh, only read from the pure Cambridge edition, yeah, sorry to burst your bubble, but this is... Um, this is not a Cambridge edition. This is an Oxford printing, and uh, yep, no difference. Everything's still the same as the King James Version. Only changes, as I said, were spelling and some numerical errors that were in the KJV um, have been fixed. Not in the text, but just, you know, like chapters. Uh, uh, this chapter here is chapter 7 or 6 rather chapter 6 here and let's say in the King James Version uh, the VI would be like separated or um, it would be hard to understand or whatever and they would put it in different print or they would fix the number that needed to be fixed um, they might made an error in in a verse you know, 20 and then 20 again and then 21 and you know you so when you find it you have errors in printing today, so uh, these are the errors that Benjamin Blaney fixed, the things that he fixed. Um, really things that were, um, a lot of people won't read the 1611 KJV because they say it's too hard to understand. They can't even understand the Blaney revision, but um, I like the Blaney revision. Uh not better, just there are things about the Blaney revision that the, the Benjamin Blaney added a lot of cross references and notes. He took out the translator's notes in the King James. Um, he did not um, transfer them. Um, as I can tell, uh, and you go to, let's see, Genesis. Okay, so you got Psalm 3 6, uh, 136 5. Let's see if he has. Not in there. First verse, nothing. But you see here, they tell you 17, the year 1706. Benjamin Blaney. Um, I think he used uh, Usher's um, dating, so. Um, but as you can see, this is what I'm doing with the King James Version. I'm going through it. I might even do some green and some yellows. Uh, I might fix it up. I really do love this Bible. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful for God's grace and mercy. Yeah, see what I'm going through with it. Nice. So, all right. So, yeah. So I bought this again only because um, I wanted to have a copy in my house. Um, I can take this to church with me. That is not, I can, but um, it's not, you know. This is awesome. You know, you see the hubs on the spine. King James, 1769. Revised Standard Oxford Edition. First edition, corrected by Dr. Benjamin Blaney. Hallelujah. So for all you KJVO people that think you read this King James 1611, even Church Bible Publishers will put the 1611 King James Version on their Bibles, and they're not 1611 Bibles. Um, so um, there it is. There's my 16 or 1769 Blaney revision of the King James Version. And uh, Steve, um, next time I see you, I'll call you ahead of time. When we meet the usual, and we'll just trade. Give me back mine, because I have some notes in that, so that's why Steve wants to um, give me that back, and uh, I'll give him this one. So, there it is. All right. 
thanks for watching everybody um probably a couple more i need five more people that have not received the bible um and uh and uh do me a favor if you um if you uh, think about it give the video a thumbs up it helps with analytics and uh it helps spread um, the news uh, i like to i need to have a thousand um people uh, yeah when i get one thousand people um subscribe to the channel then i'll be able to have open forum um counseling program which is uh, the goal for this and uh hey let the name of jesus be praised amen thanks for watching everybody um and uh yeah, we'll get the uh, Bible review for that one. Yeah, milk, chocolate, water, buffalo. Yeah, that's an ESV. Don't look at it. And then RSV. Steve's, uh, Steve likes this. Uh, I can't. But, hey, thank the Lord. Um, there it is. Milk, chocolate, water, buffalo, church Bible publishers, turquoise text, um, just sitting there waiting, um, a few more people, and then we'll have a drawing, and then I'll give you instructions after the drawing as to what to do, how to get it. So, hey, Jesus loves you, and I hope and pray that you all have a great rest of your evening in Jesus' name.